Hi guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are looking at how to export an edited video from Blender. So uh, if you've seen, if you have seen my previous video, I showed you how to import a video into Blender and how to get into the video editing platform. So today, I'm just going to import a video real quick. So as you can see here. I have imported a video and it is a time lapse. I believe there's no sound, but I might have placed a soundtrack. I mean, yeah, so you heard there, there is a soundtrack. So, to export the video, you go to the um, screen layout icon and go to default, default screen layout. So, this is the default screen that comes up when you open up Blender. So when you go through the timeline there is nothing in there before you do that make sure the end frame in here is set to the end frame of the video i'm just going to leave it at 250 for now because it's just a tutorial i'm just going to do it real quick now as you're in the default window go to the render settings so the icon up here the first icon that says render so you see the render, there's animation, audio, this is the resolution. So you might want to set it to 100% or 50%. You select 1080p, but the resolution could be the 100% of that or it could be half of that. So basically if you make it half, the resolution is halved and the video will export faster. And there you can set the uh, frames per second and then from up there so after that you don't really have to do much here you can just skip down to color depth if you want to you can put that and you can uh, reduce compression or compress it that is up to you and make sure if you're making a video make sure you change that to a video format so one of these I'm gonna leave it at H264 and you go to output you set the output folder I, I'm just gonna leave it on the desktop set and the last thing you need to do is you go to encoding if you look at the audio codec it is set to none that is the default you have to set one of these so I'm just gonna set it to mp3 and now that makes sure that will make sure that your sound will come out as well if you don't set that, the sound won't um, be in the final video. So now we're all set up and we can just press animation. And the video rendering in Blender is quite quick. We can see it's just flying through. And if you look at the desktop, a file is being created. And that is first frame to 250 frames. So it also shows how many frames being rendered. So as you can see the video has been exported, the green bar from Blender is finished and we can see the icon in the desktop as well. So if we open it we should be able to hear the sound and play the video as well. So basically that's how you export a video in Blender with sound. So thanks for watching, check out my previous video and subscribe to my channel.